Now, of the 950 blue plaques on buildings, only 14% honour women. English Heritage is trying to redress the balance and a new one was unveiled today for the dressmaker Jean Muir. She made her name in the 60s and 70s, a favourite of the stars. And Wendy Hurrell went to have a look and found a certain national treasure there, having fun above London's streets. Yes, that is Joanna Lumley hanging out of a window in Mayfair. You be careful up there. 22 Bruton Street is an address she knows well. It was in that salon, before becoming known as an actor, that she started her modelling career with the dressmaker, Jean Muir. We'd all cram in here. There would be rows and racks and racks and racks of clothes all marked down. And we'd all be here in our, literally in tights and beige bras, you know. <laughs> and today, Joanna Lumley unveiled an English heritage blue plaque to honour Ms Muir. She learned her craft in London, and over more than four decades, her reputation and meticulous expertise was much lauded in the fashion industry. The clothes famed for their stylish simplicity. Instead of adding, 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 and somehow making it work, and some of the glorious contraptions we see walking, you go, holy smoke, all that and the garage too, walking down with so much stuff, you can hardly criticise it. With Miss Muir, it would just be... The French thought she was a man. They thought her name was Jean Muir. And when she first turned up, they went, but it's a woman, it's a femme, it's extraordinaire. Oh, that a woman. Because in those days, you know, French chauvinistic couldn't believe that a woman would be able to be such a fine cutter and user of fabric, such a perfect dressmaker. And so Ms Muir takes her place in history, part of an effort to equalise the gender imbalance of people commemorated by a blue plaque. But there aren't very many women, and so to see Jean Muir up there with women, it's, it makes me so proud. What would she have thought of it? Oh my dear, she's, oh my dear, oh my dear. Oh, mm? I mean, you know, oh my dear. <laughs> Actually, it's divine. <laughs> she would have been terribly proud. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London.